Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 128 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so me right time to let's just dive right in. Okay, so they have a choice of auto insurance, home insurance, and renter's insurance. And these are mutually exclusive. The purchase of homeowner's insurance and purchase of renter's insurance are mutually ex exclusive, meaning that they do not intersect. So this is renter's and this is homeowners and that makes sense too because like if you have homeowners you don't you're not going to get a renters okay and then 17 percent of the clients have none of these three products so outside is 17 64 clients have auto insurance okay but i think i'm pretty sure it's gonna auto insurance is gonna look like that where there's some that have rentals renters insurance that have auto insurance and some that are auto home insurance that have auto insurance so i think it's gonna look like this so auto insurance in total is 64%. Twice as many of the clients have homeowners, home, homeowners insurance as renters insurance. So homeowners insurance is twice as likely as renters, renters insurance. 35% of these clients have two of these products. So this part right here and this part right here has to add up to 35. 11% of the clients have homeowners insurance but not auto insurance. So 11% is right here, just on the outside. So the information that we completely used out is this one, this one, and this one. If there's 17 on the outside, that means on the inside that there must be 1 minus 0.17, which is equal to 0.83. If we know if we know the auto insurance is 64% and this whole thing adds up to 83, we know just this part and just this part is 0.83 minus 64, which is equal to... 0.19 so just the renter's insurance so just the renter's insurance if this part right here is 11 percent then this part right here must be 0.19 minus 0.11 which is 0.08 and if we know that this part right here is 35 percent and this whole thing has to add up to 0.64 just the inside part would be 0.64 minus 0.35 which is equal to 0.29 so 0.29 is right here so now we just have to take care of this one so they're saying the homeowner's insurance is twice as likely as renter's insurance but the, the thing that we're looking for is both renter's insurance and auto insurance so we're looking for this part right here both auto and renters so this blue is what we're looking for so I'm just gonna assign some random variables we know that this is X and if this is x, that we know this homeowner is 0.35 minus x, because it's whatever is not x. So then we know homeowner's insurance, which is 0.11 plus 0.35 minus x. This is homeowner's insurance, is equal to twice the renter's insurance, which is x plus 0.08. So now this just becomes a system of linear equations. So I can distribute the two. So I have, and I can add the 0.11 and 0.35 together. So I have 0.35. 4, 6 minus x equals 2x plus 0.16. I can bring the th um, x on this side, 3x, subtract the 0.16 on the other side, 0.3x, oh, 0.3. So x is equal to 0.3 divided by 3, which is just 0.1. So then x is just, and what are we looking for? That's exactly x. All right, so this is actually just b. Answer b. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!